Hello, Gary Simon of designcourse.com. Today, we're going to go into Blender and we're gonna make grass, okay? So it's actually pretty easy with the particle simulator. And uh, if you've never used Blender before, yeah, this is a good beginner video. Uh, so we're not gonna be doing anything too crazy. And yeah, the end result looks pretty good as you saw. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so if you've never used Blender before, to select objects, you right click. To move around the viewport, you Hold your middle or third mouse button and just hold it down and move your mouse. To zoom up, you use your scroll wheel. To pan, you hold shift and that middle or third mouse button. All right, very simple. That's all I'm going to cover in terms of introductions to the application. So I'm with file, new and reload to start file. And you can apply grass uh, to any type of mesh object like this cube if you wanted to. But we're just going to hit delete and then enter on the keyboard. And then hit shift A, mesh and UV sphere. Segments 32, rings 16. All right, so what we want to do is add what's called a subdivision surface. So we're going to click on this little wrench that's our modifiers. And so we click on add modifier and then select subdivision surface. And the view is what we're looking at right now. Render is when you go to like officially render it. So I'm going to turn this up to four. And that's actually quite high. I'm also going to change uh, shading to smooth over there and then hit apply and switch to edit mode so we're in object mode object allows you to take this object as a whole move it around rotate scale etc uh, if you switch to edit mode and you can do that with your tab key uh, we're able to manipulate the individual vertices faces or edges we're in vertice select mode by default it selects everything if you right click you can select individual ones and you can do all sorts of things with, with them. Same thing with edge, just like the individual edges and then faces are these tiny little faces down here. All right, so we're gonna switch back to vertice and vertex mode and hit A. That will toggle between select all and select none. So kind of a handy thing to know. And I also wanna turn this option on here, limit selection to visible. Uh, by default, it's turned off and I'll just show you what happens when it's turned off. If I hit A to deselect all, Hit Control or Command on Mac and then left click and drag like a heart shape real quick. You'll see that it doesn't select anything behind it. It's only the visible vertices. I'm going to edit undo that, Control Z, and then I'm going to turn this on. You'll see real quick what happens. It now selects everything behind it. All right. So make sure that's on or clicked or checked on bit rather. And I'm going to draw a real quick heart shape. I'm going to start like right around here, just inside of it and hold control left click making a heart shape something like that if you want to make another adjustment you can hit control and i want to kind of smooth this area out a little bit and then you can just add to that selection so now we have kind of like two hearts all right so what i want to do now is basically Separate them. Separate this and make it into its own object. So hit P on your keyboard, select selection. So now if we go back into object mode in the tab, we could select each of these individually. I want to right click this to select the hearts to shape only and hit delete and enter. So now we've deleted that and now we can go ahead and add our, if we right click on it, add the particle system. So you're gonna have to left click and drag this out to the left just so you could see this little tab over here. And we wanna choose up here from Blender Render to Cycles Render, hit new. All right, so the type we have to change from emitter to hair. And so you see all these crazy lines. Hair length, we wanna make zero. And the number we want to make very high. So 200,000, hit enter gonna make your computer a little bit slow or quite a bit slow depending on the specs um, and real quickly I just wanted to preface this I uh, I got most of what I'm gonna be showing you I uh, from this tutorial on deviant art from this guy Dirk Rotter so I just wanted to make sure I give credit where credit's due about making glass and cycles 
Uh, and so I'll be doing most of what uh, we're going to be doing this up up until this point, but you'll see. So what we want to do now, and a lot of this is just experimenting with what it looks like. And if you want to see what it looks like, you can change the rendered mode right here. And uh, the adjustments you make over here will be displayed over here. So what we want to do is change also, because right now we don't see any because I changed the hair length to zero. But if you also choose advanced real quickly, you'll see down here something called random. Now, if I change random real quickly, one second, I'm looking off screen for my settings I did previously, and we change it to 0 0.01, we'll start to see the grass basically. All right, I wanna come down here also, and you have the hair settings right here, uh, thickness, there's the root, that means like where it begins, is set at one, I just wanna change that to half, so 0.5, tip is zero so it tapers off to zero and everything else can be left the same here all right and now what I want to do is we want to create the material for this real quick all right so I'm gonna change a couple of their settings before I do that so I'm gonna come over here to the world tab and I'm gonna choose use nodes and then the color make it a gradient texture and then change linear to quadratic sphere. All right. And I'm going to switch back to solid mode. And I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to click up here, hit shift A, lamp, and a sun. All right. So the sun, we can adjust those settings. I'm going to make the strength go from 1 to 5. And I'm going to make it like kind of have like a yellowish tint out here. All right, so if we go back to rendered, we'll see what this looks like. All right, so now let's go ahead and add the actual material. So right click to select it, and we'll come over here to the material section, hit new. And I'm gonna left click and drag this down. I'm gonna change this view over here to the node editor. This up here we can specify and leave at rendered. That way we can see the changes we make down here take place up there. All right, so I'm gonna zoom up here quite a bit and I'm gonna delete this node layer. So just left click it, delete, and it looks like this got deleted, but it didn't, there's just no material on it. So what we wanna do, uh, I'm gonna be using again that that a lot of that, uh, the node structure from that tutorial that I showed. Uh, so what we wanna do is add a mix shader, shift A, shader, mix shader and put it right around there and connect it to the surface and I'm going to zoom out just a little bit and again the way you manipulate or move around here is just the same as in the, the 3d view so just hold shift and your middle mouse button uh, or third button and so now what we want to do is also add a glossy sh shader so shader and then glossy. We'll connect this to the bottom. Change the color here real quick to kind of like a light yellow. All right. And then up here, shift A, we're going to add another mix shader. Connect this to the bottom one. And then we want to add a diffuse shader shift a and select diffuse select or connect this one to the top shader right there and also add a translucent translucent shader add that to the bottom we're going to add what's called a layer weight shift a and it's around here somewhere. I'm always not finding. There we go. Input layer weight. Add the facing, this one right here, to the FAC value here. Change this to 0 0.4. Then we want to add a mix RGB. So we go to Shift A, color, mix RGB. Connect it to the color portion of the diffuse. Make the first top color right here. 
a just basically a grass color and the bottom could be I'm gonna choose like a darker green all right and then we want to duplicate this one so shift D add that to the color of the translucent right there all right so now it's quite green and grassy looking I uh, and that is it for the node structure. I know this is a little bit confusing, but a lot of this is all about experimenting. Uh, and what that guy had in his tutorial worked out pretty well. Uh, so I'm going to go back to uh, this section. Because right now you can kind of see, if we zoom up here, the portion underneath it, uh, or the actual sphere. I think we can experiment with that by changing the thickness by 0 0.02 and we'll see what that does so now you can't really see it beneath it so much all right so I'm gonna just kinda getting this view to look a little bit different all right now I'm gonna get rid of this window I'm just gonna right click in this center portion hit join area and then you could join either this up there or, or the 3D view down here. Just left click. All right. And let's go to render settings. And if you have a graphics card, a GPU, you could choose GPU compute. If you've never set that, and it makes it go much faster, by the way. If you've never set that before or worked with that, you can go to file, user preferences, system, tab and then down here usually by default it's at none if you choose CUDA you can see your graphics card I have two of these GeForce GTX cards and then this will show up over here come down here sampling uh, usually one of the biggest questions a beginner to blender was it'll look a little bit grainy the render but that's because it's only set at 10 samples so the preview is what we're looking at now because we haven't actually clicked render up here the preview you know maybe changes to 200 and it'll take a little longer, and up here it's showing you how many samples it's going through. Uh, and as you can see, it already looks a lot better. Uh, and just about finished. The render, you can change that up to something even higher, uh, 1,000 or whatever. Um, so I just want to zoom in with this and see if there's anything else that I can kind of change. I think these, are, these, these blades of grass are way too thick looking. So I'm going to come back. All right, so I paused that and I experimented with it a little bit. And what I did was change this back down to 0 0.01 for the scaling because they were a little bit too thick at the base. And then it came up here uh, for random, and I changed that from 0 0.01 to 0 0.02. And this is the result, which I think looks quite a bit better. And so when it comes to the lighting and stuff, uh, you, can, you can, of course, experiment with uh, adding different light sources. Uh, so... Okay, so I paused for a little bit just to experiment with different lighting setups. And basically, uh, let me switch over here to solid just to show what the lighting looks like. I added, if you go to Shift A and add a lamp point, I added three of those basically. One I put over here. If I right click it, you can see the settings. I changed the color here to like this darker green, the strength I left at 100. I, same thing over here. I just basically hit Shift D to duplicate it and moved it over there. And then there's also one inside of here, which is this one, 0 .002. And it's inside of it just to illuminate the, the center portion of this just a little bit. And I made it a dark green. Uh, I also changed the sun settings. So it's like this color right here. And then also the strength I, I took down from 5 to 1. And so that gives us this color right here or this render I guess you could say but yeah you can uh, experiment however you wish and that is this tutorial so you can see it's pre pre very easy actually to add grass uh, so exciting stuff all right check out designcourse.com if you ha oh you know what I probably should show you real quick just about how to render if you've never rendered anything render uh, resolution by default set at 1920 by 1080 
You can change yours to whatever you want. I'm going to change mine to 1280 by 720 because that's the size of my video recording. This percentage right here simply means, uh, sorry, I'm swallowing spit. <laughs> um, the size, you know, so if it was at, it, by default to 50%, it would only do 50% of 1280 and 50% of 720. Uh, so I'll just leave it all the way up to 100. Um, and then also down here, if you are using GPU compute, you can click on conform, uh, performance and change the XY tiles to 256 by 256. And then also your, the only other thing you really have to worry about for this would be the sample settings. And I have my render at uh, 1,000, which should be more than enough for this particular render. Um, and that's it. So then you just hit render. Actually, you know, I, to make this a little bit quicker, I'm just going to make mine 500. All right. And then I'm going to hit render. And because this will take some time, I'm going to pause this and then come back. Oh, wait. Stupid me. Let me... Cancel that real quick hit escape. I forgot to set up the actual camera right now We're just kind of looking through whatever view we have, but there is a camera view if you hit zero on the number pad It'll show you what the camera is going to render so if I hit n as in nose Click on lock camera to view hit n again to get out of there. We can move around based on what we want to render and so I'm going to choose right around yeah, right around there. And now we hit render. It's going to render exactly what that looked like. So now I will pause. All right, and that's the render at 500 samples. It probably took about a minute and a half or two on my computer. Uh, I don't like it, though, because of this thing hanging down. It doesn't really look correct, but you get the idea. You can adjust the, uh, the scene however you wish. But, yeah, that is it. Check out designcourse.com if you haven't yet, and subscribe here on YouTube. All right, goodbye. <laughs>